Check this out. Ooh, shiny. All right, I know it's loud in here, but I had to plug it in just to show you before I show you what I'm gonna do. But this is gonna be my first actual individual panel that I'm going to install upstairs in the kitchen right when you enter in from the garage and I'll have all the little basic controls all from one screen. So here's my garage and this is pretty much where I come in every day. So my idea is that I wanna take this. This is a uh, some really cheap, just off-brand, no name, touchscreen LCD that really is just, hi. Really, I just kinda of want it like right here. The thing is, it goes into the wall right it doesn't need like a box or anything like that but it goes into the wall and i'm thinking just i kind of want it about right there right so it's not like right in your face right as you walk in right there but just kind of off to the side like right about yonder this is power over ethernet so it does not actually require a, a separate low voltage line or a, a 120 line anything like that it's just a, a, an ethernet cable, which is really cool. Yeah, about right there. Stud into stud. Right there is the gas line, don't ask. Yeah, another stud. So it's gonna be somewhere in between this right here. There, kind of sort of right there. Should be just fine. Eh, okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna mark that. And then I gotta mark the inside of that as far as the hole that I have to cut in there. And then ideally, that should be in a good spot. That's the hole. Okay, I was gonna do that one hand and hold the camera, but I need to stabilize it. That is a terrible idea. Now the next step is go downstairs and run that wire just up there with a the little fishing lure thing. It's a cat on a stick, duct tape. So there's the hole, I think. Yeah, that should be it right there. Should be pretty easy. Line, right there. It's already pre drilled That's gonna be easy. Don't fall, don't fall, don't fall. I don't see why anyone says fishing takes skill. That was so easy, seriously. Yeah. Okay, you get it, it's right there. I have, I have, I have tiny hands. I know. The claw. Oh yeah. And boom. Come on, what are you doing? What are you doing? There we go. Look at that. Now there is a huge part of me that wants to run another wire up to here. Uh, just one more. I don't know what I'm gonna use it for, but wherever I can put it, maybe attach it to this or something like that, right? Just to have another wire ran because I have some ideas. I don't know if I'm gonna do them, but if I have another wire ran, I won't have to worry about that. Now, this is going to go over all that, through that, over there, down through here, around through there. I'm gonna do a way better the job than that. Don't judge me, early years, and then up through there, and then that is going to go into my server room, over to there. Yes, if I could go back and redo a lot of things that I did before, that would have been the way that I ran all those wires. Going, what I did before was just ignorance. It needs to be redone. It is what it is. Also, I totally just eyeball ran, right? I'm just like pulling it over here and I'm, I cut it. So hopefully that'll be enough. And the reason why is because I only have the one box. I wanna go ahead and pull this up to the top like I did the other one. That way, whenever I run these wires, like I could do them together. That way I don't have to do the same exact thing twice. Round two. The claw. All that run through there from over there. So uh, now I'm just, last time I did this, I realized that I just gotta go in there, shove those things in there and then go fish them out through there and then pull the wire through. That was just the easiest way to do it. So uh, this is actually not a difficult pull. It's just better to do it from that side. There we go. That's the fishing line. Look how easy that is. Oh. Yeah, look how easy that is. Honestly, I really love these kind of projects where it's just clear cut. This is what I got to do. Not super complicated. I just get to do something cool. Side note, this is the cable. That's where it started out. Ran over there. 
that's the cable. I've got enough cable to go all the way in there, all the way up there, and that's only because I wanted to make sure I had enough to go right there. So not only did I have plenty of cable, but now I can make other cables just for spares. So, you know, maybe I over, uh, yeah. Better than me in short. Got the two terminations done. Got plenty of cable there. I even marked kitchen number two, but I think those look pretty good. Now, I don't know if you've been following my like saga of net random networking stuff, but I have changed over the years. I used to do the Keystone Jacks and then I realized the ones that I did and probably all fault of my own, they had terrible connections. So now I just terminate each end uh, down there. And then if I really want to put it in my little patch panel, I just use, a, use an RJ45 uh, um, female to female, so, or male to male, whatever. It works a lot easier, a little bit more versatile, plus I'm just, I'm okay at terminating things, so, you know, it's just easier. I've been using this just to hold it so it doesn't fall in there, but I should, I feel like I need something to just kind of hold it up there, because that would really suck to lose that down there and have to fish it back up. I'm definitely not the smartest guy in the world, but the best solution I have in order to secure this, I've looked all around, I can't really find a good way. But here's what I came up with. I got this thing, it's like part of a yard sign. Just have to throw it away, it, you know, picked it up, it's junk. If I cut that, sharpen an end, I have a very long nail. I mean, this thing's pretty sturdy. Like this thing is good. And get that, now it's a sharp nail. Yeah. Okay, I was holding it. I just wanted to get that on camera. Nice and sturdy in there. I'm gonna take a, a couple tools here. I'm gonna try to make it bend a little bit. That way it just, that way it doesn't slip off really easy. And because it's in there pretty good, I can just push it back right there. Perfect. A couple zip ties later, push that back. Now let's get on with the show. Now this thing goes in here. I might have to trim this up, but I think I cut it pretty well. So that's how that mounts just like that. And that's what's gonna hold it in there. It's gonna slip in there, which I don't know how to pull it out. Yeah, so anyways, that's gonna slip in there. Actually, after you install that, because you have to push those tabs, I have no idea how to uninstall it. So that's gonna be interesting. Because this takes screws, that has room for screws, that takes screws, and that edge right there, slides into those slots, those lock. When I had to pull it off before, I had to take those and pull them out in order to get that piece of metal off. So once that's in there, there ain't no way to get that out. I think I'm just gonna use four uh, sheetrock screws and then that way if I have to rip it out, it won't be that hard to rip off the wall. Sounds stupid, but I think at this point, like it actually makes more sense to use something that's easier to rip off the wall in the event that I need to do that. All right, I went ahead and plugged both of them in. Like, why not check them both? So first one works. The second one works. Things on there pretty stout. I don't think it's going anywhere. Definitely didn't need any kind of drywall stuff. And it's level. Boat. Ha! There you go. Look at that. Uh, you know, I'm gonna demo a bunch of stuff, but um, yeah, garage lights. Nice. There we go. Now, push it in. And there you go. That is installed. Looks pretty good. The light control is a whole different thing. You can change colors, RGB. I actually have to figure that apart out. But uh, anyways, I have some basic things here so I can open up garage doors, obviously, just from right there. Uh, if I want to turn on all of the upstairs lights, I can do that, which is just everything upstairs, like living room, etc. cetera. Um, so not a big deal. Kitchen light, obviously. Garage light, the thing seems pretty responsive. I like that. Um, stairs, driveway, front porch, server light, which I was down there working. Uh, but the big thing, the thing that I really like is I have a few scripts. These are scripts right here. So if I show up to home, I can push home. But if I'm leaving, I push that. It turns off all the lights, like as I'm leaving, or at least the lights that I want turned off, and it opens the garage door. So every morning or whenever I want to leave, I can just hit that. I can say, hey, I'm leaving, and there you go. And when I get back, I can turn stuff on 
right? It'll turn on the lights that I want on, and then I should probably maybe program that to close the, the garage door. But anyways, home, leave, big thing. Bedtime, it turns off a plethora of lights and it just like make sure that everything is turned off before I go to bed. Just, you know, temperatures, not that big a deal. That's, I don't know. It's gonna get worked on, but at least I have control, everything in here. This is pretty cool, I like that. I am definitely gonna have to adjust the brightness. So, kitchen light off, it's pretty bright. Here's the thing. The green LEDs plug into the Crestron thing, but all of the configuration for the Creston is through like a web interface, but that does not include the uh, customization for the green LEDs. That's like, I think it takes SSH commands and it's way more complex than just that. So right now it's set to green, it's super bright. I have to figure that out and figure out how I want to tie it into everything but i know the biggest thing is probably going to be if it senses light which it can do that or movement whatever uh then it can light up brighter but without that it'll actually lower the temperature or lower the uh, brightness on that that way it's not so aggressive because yeah if you back out it definitely lights that thing up well anyways guys i do want to thank one of my awesome uh subscribers who sent that to me for me to try out and just kind of mess around with so it's my first wall mounted touch screen that's a kind of a big deal to me this is since i use this door for everything this thing is going to be used every single time i leave and come back to my house so this is going to get the most usage the most traffic and i'm probably going to have to make quite a few changes to that just so if i want to have more control maybe some better sensor readouts or Whatever is I want to do, always the dashboards, they're, they're always under construction. But for right now, this is all of the vital, crucial stuff that I want. And now that I have scripts that I can run when I leave and when I come home, that's kind of cool. So if you guys uh, like that, think it's stupid, whatever, leave a comment section down below. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe and have yourself a great day.